guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kayla Rosa Davis, and I'm back with a new video, of course. So this intro is gonna be hella short because I already did an intro, went on ahead, one eye done on camera. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. And if you want to get this look, stay tuned. I did one eye off camera already, and I'm using the Magic Palette by Juvia's, and I just got this in the mail, literally. And I just had to use it. I haven't made a video in a minute because I didn't have a laptop charger. I wasn't gonna do laptop, but I was like, just let me let me get the laptop charger. Inexpensive, and nothing really is wrong with my laptop. It was just the charger. So I'm back, and I'll be using this palette that I literally got in the mail today, a couple of hours ago. And this is the look. Like this is the eye I created. I don't know. I don't know how I got this. <laughs> I was watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos, but it wasn't even about makeup. It was about clothes, y'all. But this is the look I came up with. It's like hella pretty. I'm really happy that I came up with this look. It's really different. And I use all the colors in this palette. This palette is beautiful. Like I really didn't want to touch the shades at all. This palette is freaking, <laughs> it's freaking huge. These are the shades, like this This is bigger than my head and my head is pretty darn big. But these are the shades, really gorgeous. And I'll be doing this eye. So yeah, let's get started because I'm talking too much and this is not even the intro. So first I'm going to go in with Nana. Which is right here. Go in the shade Nana and I'm using it. In my crease and I'm going to use my Morphe M441 brush y'all I didn't even prime my eyelid the scrubber first I'm going to take my MAC paint pot and prime my eyelid I'm going to take my MAC mineralized skin finish powder in dark and I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelid. And I'm just going to use a regular RC Cosmetics buffing brush. Set in the crease. take this pretty salmon shade right here it's right here and I'm gonna put that all in the crease and outer crease and I'm going to use the Morphe M518 Now for my cut crease, I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn to do a semi-cut crease. I'm just going to blend it out with the Juvia's J11 Definer. Let me just blend the concealer out. And then I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder and set the eyelid with the Juvia's J11 17 Precision Brush. And just pat it on there. Now, now I'm going to take my Japanese brush and I'm going to use this pretty pretty yellowy green gold shade and that's going to be in, in that's going to be on my lid and I'm going to take this Mario spray so it can be a little damp
to take this orange, this orange shade right here, and I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush. to take my heavy metal urban k glitter eyeliner in the shade junkyard not the shade but you know but yeah the shade junkyard and this is pretty pink with like blues purples and greens in it and i'm gonna put this in my crease now i'm gonna take my benefit their real eyelash well mascara just for my eyelashes to prep my eyelashes. And I'll be going in with my Ayana and Co eyelashes and this in the sh in the shade. And this is in Vicky Secrets. Uh, make sure to have her website down below. These lashes are beautiful. They're 100 percent mink lashes, handmade, 100 percent mink fur, no animal cruelty. And this packaging is cute. Of course, mine is dirty because these lashes are bay and I use them a lot. And these are what the lashes look like. If you can see, gorgeous AF. And I'm going to use the House of Lashes glue, which is my favorite lash glue ever. Doesn't irritate my eye, even though my eyes are watery sometimes. This still is attached to my eyelid, basically. And it dries like really fast. And you can tell when it starts drying because it'll turn blue. While this drying, I already primed my face with the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Balm, Shave Balm. But I did not mattify my face, so I'm going to use the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Mattifying H2O Gel Primer. And I'm going to use it on my nose and my forehead. Our foundation I'm going with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the Clever Effects Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. This is in the shade G110, and this is in the shade Y505. And I'm just three lines on each side, one on the forehead and one on the chin. Take my foundation brush and just paint. I'm going to take my Morphe M439 brush to buff everything in. Now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer 2 Highlight.
with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set the highlighted areas and I just press it into the skin. I only bake my nose. So basically, as you can see, I only really bake my nose and I just press all the powder everywhere else. Then I get really, really oily. And now I'm just going to let that chill for a minute. Let my nose soak up the oil. To you guys for a minute. Also, I do have the Juvia's Blush Palette, the volume one, volume 1, which is really, really gorgeous on dark skinned women or women of color in general. And this is the palette. I will be doing a separate video on this palette, but I will be using this palette today on my cheeks. And I'll be using it as my blush and highlight. But this palette is gorgeous for any skin type. Even the lightest can use this for like probably eyeshadow. You do not have to use this just for blush. But in the next video, I don't know when, but I will be using this for eyeshadow and blush and highlight. So stay tuned for that. And it's really pigmented, really buttery. I got this like last week and I've been using it every since and it's just really pretty. I love the orange shade. That's really what drew me into this like palette. And yeah, I've been using everything. I haven't used this color yet because it's like hella dark. Like it'd be nice for contour, but it's like really dark. Like that's too dark for my liking. And plus, I don't have a contour, I just bronze. So, yeah. This would be gorgeous for eyeshadow. And I can't wait to use it on both because I know you guys want me to do that. But I really had to do the Magic Palette because you guys really wanted a tutorial with that palette. And I finally bought it. So, now I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Bottle New Powder. This the old one. I just use it to set my eyelid. The struggle. And I'll be using my fluffy brush, the E41 from Morphe, and dusting this all over my face. I'm going to use my MAC 168, I believe it is. And I'm going to use my CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. And I'll probably... Oh, it's going to be too dark. We'll see. This stuff is like really pigmented, so be careful. So I'm gonna try it now. And I'm gonna use this dark shade for my cheeks to do like a little contour or like a little extra bronze action. Oh, this shit is dark. And now for my blush, I'm going to use, I'm going to mix this pink, I'm going to pick, I'm going to mix this pink and orange. It's called Zane and Toby. And I'm going to use my Morphe M530 brush. Can you see how I look like a clown? Just go back over with your powder brush and 
edges. I'm going to pick the shade Zara and I'm going to use my Morphe, 5, Morphe M501 and this is the shade Zara. And I'm going to put on my nose, my chin, and my cheeks. do my under eye with the colors I use in the crease and then I'm going to use this shade for my brow bone and I'm going to use the Morphe M432 Rimmel eyeliner in nude, I think it's called. New 005. And now for the lips, I'm going to go in with my favorite. Cape pencil. And the gloss I'm going to use is the Anastasia lip gloss in Undressed. set everything I'm taking my Mario spray and my Urban Decay spray well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe I really recommend this palette if you've been if you've been looking for this palette please get it it is hard to get because it's always out of stock and I'm so happy I put my email in it so I can get notified of when it's back in stock because I bought it while I was driving. Don't do that, you guys, it's not safe. But I had to get it, it's huge, bigger than my head. You can do so many looks with this. It's gorgeous AF, like, this is bomb, like. And I like that it's a day to night. So I'll be doing a nighttime look with this. I'm thinking about doing four makeup tutorials with this, like two day looks and two night looks using this palette or whatever the case might be. But I hope you guys enjoyed this palette and this makeup tutorial. If you did, make sure you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend, phone a friend. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And that's about it. See you guys in my next video.